In 5.3, we're going to transition to talking about how agriculture uses land and water. Um, focusing on the Green Revolution to begin with. So the Green Revolution was a point when basically how we did farming changed. It was aimed at increasing food production, not only um, you know how quickly can it be produced, but also how much could be produced, how how <coughs> large the crop was. So it was the implementation of a lot of different technologies that then increased how much food that they could make. Starting with mechanization. In mechanization, we see a decrease of human and animal labor um, in favor of machines. On the one side, it is more efficient, it does produce more food. Anytime you see more food, you see more profit for the farmer, which, you know, they can then pay back um, maybe any loans that they had to take out in order to get those machines. However, with any more, uh, with more machines being used, we've seen an increase of uh, fossil, fossil fuel use as well in the tractors and the combines and all that. <coughs> Next, we have genetically modified organisms, which is an organism that has been altered using genetic engineering. The core idea of this is that we can, we don't make new genes. Uh, but we can take genes from other organisms, typically bacteria, that has some sort of trait that we would like our plant to have. We can take that and then insert it into the plant cell and then grow that into a plant that then has that trait. Maybe it could be things like drought resistance or pesticide resistance or uh, makes bigger, better fruit or something like that, a fruit that doesn't spoil. So on the one hand, you do have less food waste. Like I said, we can engineer plants that don't, and we have, I don't know what I'm saying, clearly we have engineered food to last longer. Um, so that doesn't spoil as easily, so the more food gets to the consumer. Crops can grow bigger and faster. We can also put more nutrition into those, into those, uh, those food items. We have natural resistance to pests and droughts, um, salty soil. On the other hand, we have We've seen issues where because they know that pesticides are, or because the plants are pesticide resistant, then they can overuse those pesticides and then they can drift into the environment. We'll talk more about that. We'll talk about pollution. Uh, but those pesticides can get into organisms and it can magnify the food chain. We also see cross pollination with wild species. And there is not a whole lot of um, knowledge until that happens, like what, what is the impact of that? Um, you also have to buy the seed every year from the company that produces it. And we've run into issues with, especially like Monsanto, where the farmer can actually then be sued if they accidentally get plant, if they've been caught saving seeds, or if just by, um, you know, like from the wind, if a seed blown or was blown over to the nearby farm, um, well, that plant is like not supposed to be there, so they can be sued as well. Uh, food ink, if you ever can stomach that, maybe it goes into that really well. And then we also see a decrease in genetic diversity. So we're producing all of the same crop, so that all of that crop is now vulnerable to sudden changes. Maybe the disease comes through that they're all, you know, they all don't have that resistance to, so they all die. Fertilizers are the use of synthetic nutrients to maximize growth in yields. They're inexpensive, they're easy to transport, they're easy to understand, you know, if you need this much of a, something for this type of plant, you need this amount of nitrogen, like you can easily just look at the back of the box, like, okay, I need a tablespoon per blah, blah, blah. Um, it's really straightforward. It increases your yields, which means, again, more money, more food. It can also help your plants grow quickly. But a huge, huge issue that we see with these synthetic fertilizers is that they run off into nearby water. Um, they're um, soluble in water. So when the rains come through, washes away all these excess fertilizers and cause algae blooms. Pesticides is the application of chemicals to control organisms that cause damage to plants. We do see less crop damage, so therefore more food, but we are coming to accidental ingestion. And the thing about these pesticides are used like, you know, a lot of them might be neurotoxins. They're designed to kill an organism, so there's something in them that's not good to have. So even if maybe you're not, 
maybe an animal that um, is eating it or something like that. That's why it's really important right, to wash your vegetables. We also see a decrease of natural pollinators like bees and butterflies because they get killed by that pesticide. You can also accumulate in the environment, uh, especially in large animals, um, particularly DDT. I would encourage you to look up that story. So in summary, describe the changes that we've seen in agriculture practices. And by the way, um, in future videos, we're going to go more in depth with each one.